Hey guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Today we are talking about beginner turtle species. So this is really great because that means if you're a person watching this video, you're probably doing your research before you actually get a turtle, and that is great. So kudos to you for knowing what you're getting into before actually getting an animal because this ensures that they will have a long, hopefully happy home that they can be there forever for their whole entire life. But anyways, let's talk about beginner turtle species. So Usually when there's a new person who wants to get into the turtle keeping hobby, they are looking for their first turtle species. So usually they want one that is hardy, which basically means the turtle is very forgiving to beginner mistakes that might occur. Um, and also one that is easy to care for, so pretty low maintenance. I mean, some turtles do require a little bit more effort than others. A turtle that is small, because not everybody has room for a 120 gallon tank, unfortunately, or a giant pond for very large turtles. And also something that is pretty common and inexpensive so that you can easily find it and not have a hard time trying to acquire the type of turtle that you want. So let's jump into a couple species that fit this description. So the first turtle species that I usually recommend for beginners is none other than the painted turtle, which is the type of turtle I actually have here. And specifically, I'm thinking two subspecies, the eastern and southern painted turtle. So there's actually four different subspecies of painted turtle. These southern and eastern painted turtles, um, they max out at about six or seven inches, and that is for the females, which is the um, larger end females are bigger than males. And usually they can um, do quite well in a tank of 75 gallons for their entire life. So that would probably be the max tank size that you'd have to get for a southern or eastern painted turtle. So they are, first of all, small turtles. Second of all, extremely hardy, very forgiving of beginner mistakes. They aren't very finicky about water quality. As long as you give them their a nice basking area because they love to bask, they will usually be just fine. And even if your maintenance sometimes slides in your turtle tank, usually they will not all of a sudden get shell rot or get sick. They also are very beautiful turtles. They have some great coloration. Their shell is a nice brown color with little red accents. And so they're a really attractive looking turtle as well. And they're just an overall great for beginners because they're also very easy to find and inexpensive. Um, if you go to a reptile expo, usually you can find painted turtles as well as online. They're very readily available for under $40 for a younger turtle. So painted turtles, specifically southern and eastern painted turtles, are a great option for beginners. The next turtle species that I usually recommend is the musk turtle. Now, don't be scared by the name. This just refers to the fact that occasionally when they're very scared, they will release an unpleasant odor. This usually doesn't happen in captivity though because they will get used to their owners. But these are great turtles because again, very small. These are one of the smallest turtles that you can get staying in about four or five inches tops and male female um, their sizes are about the same and they may not be like as ornately beautiful as a painted turtle might be but they kind of have a dinosaur look about them which is really neat they are also pretty hardy you just have to watch the water level a bit with these guys they don't always do as well in deeper water especially as babies so just keep an eye on your water depth and you will want to put lots of decorations in there for them to hang on to but usually they'll be just fine um, and they're also again readily available and pretty inexpensive they usually run a little more expensive than painted turtles but they're also a really neat choice now let's talk a little bit about the other common species that you can get that might also work with it for a beginner so first of all the map turtle these are extremely awesome looking turtles they some of them have pretty cool knobs on them they have cool rings on their shell they have beautiful patterns on their face and they're much like painted turtles except they can be a little bit more sensitive to water quality so if you aren't as vigilant about changing your water and cleaning your filter and that type of thing they can get sick a little bit easier than a painted turtle but they can also be a good option if it's provided that you're keeping an eye on that. They can be a little bit more shy, but with time they will warm up to the owner. And also, last of all, um, I'm going to talk about the slider turtle. So specifically the red-eared slider and the yellow-bellied slider. So these are the most, hands down, common turtle ever. You can walk into most any pet store and find one of these. But these aren't actually the best beginner turtles, despite them being so common. They are extremely hardy turtles and can take a beating when it comes to care. But the thing with sliders is that they grow to be 
enormous. A full-grown female red ear slider can exceed 12 inches and so at that point in order for them to be happy where they're living they would prefer a small pond and many people cannot accommodate this these space needs for slider turtles so if you can avoid it I wouldn't get a slider turtle unless you're rescuing one so just keep that in mind that slider turtles do get huge and unless you have that space to accommodate them they aren't the best beginner turtle even though they are so common so I hope this video helped you it might have helped you decide that oh maybe I'll just be really vigilant with my water changes and get a map turtle because I really like their look or a musk turtle because I want a baby dinosaur but I hope to help clear some things up for you and help you decide what type of turtle you want to get make sure you do your research and have everything ready before you actually get the turtle and know that turtles are super awesome creatures they make amazing pets if you're the right type of person for them so thank you guys so much for watching have a totally awesome day and i will see you next friday bye